right, y'all, you're watching Animation News Wrapped Up Extra. And this extra is my top five predictions from what would you guys like to happen and from I want to happen. You guys agree with me? And here are my top five predictions of Star Wars Forces of Evil Season 3. And the worst is ever, and here... Please stop talking. Okay, Star Warning! Warning. Spoiler, Spoiler alert, alert for Star Wars Sports Evil Season 2. If you haven't, if you haven't seen, seen it, go see it. See well, it. well, we won't go on. Jackie Lynn Thomas at round Season 3. After when Star met her feelings at the Season 2 finale in front of her... It, to Marco, just want to know where she is. There's Jana, Star, Marco, Ponyhead, Kelly, and everyone's favorite bad boy, Tom. But no Jackie. Some of you might say say that uh, she decided to leave the Earth so Marco could be with Jackie. But according to promo, I think I think Marco is sad because Jackie uh, broke up with him or Mrs. Star. But mostly Jackie broke up. I have very interest in it. Now, I hate the relationship of Marco and Jackie, but sometimes it's better off to start slow. The slow build-up. Uh, question, do I hate Jackie? No. No. Absolutely not. I, I don't, because I hate the relationship. That doesn't mean I hate Jackie. It's like questioning me say if I hate Kyle Larson for being Chase Elliott. Is the same answer? No. I mean, they have better rivalry. I mean, do it. Does he beat Chase Elliott not once, not twice, but three times? He beat Chase Elliott uh, about Kyle Larson. Depends on who you are. For me, it was opportunity. For for Larson, it was you know a bummer. I'm sure to see that. So I've been on you know I've been in both situations. Uh, or I've been in another situation last year a couple times. And oh wait 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 wait. I'm talking about Jackie Lynn Thomas, huh? I, I'm uh, on NASCAR, am I? Oh, uh, moving on. <music> Jenna's prominent role in season three. Well, she's introduced in the intro, but yet we do not know what her role would be in season three, like, you know, after Battle of Muni. You know, but I hope they give her a more prominent role because. I would love to see more Janna, you know? The uh, gothic hipster? Well, you already know the friend. I already have a friend who's artistic and who is a hipster, ironically. But, but I'll save that for another one. But even though, that's one thing you guys still want to be see is, want to see is Janna's primary role. Tell you the truth, I want to see that too. Tom's role. Good or evil? Well, we already seen him on season one as the ex-boyfriend of Star Butterfly. Well, demon ex-boyfriend. And then he's, then his hatred for Marco began at the Blood Moon Ball during that scene. And then, and then the hatred continues around Mr. Candle's care. And one is growing Marco. Then he did the dumbest thing. You know, spent time with the rival person he hates the most, and frenemies. But even though they aren't enemies anymore, they're not friends also. They still don't like each other. But, but I don't know if Tom's gonna be like a main, gonna be on the side of good or side of evil. Only time will tell. <music> the other two are gonna be Bell for Muni related. Number two, the origin story of Queen Moon. I would love to see Queen Moon in her origin. And I heard there was a death in her family. That's also interesting to hear. Do I need to say more? And the prediction I hope happens the most is the Starco kiss. We... Don't want to push that around season one. And we would hope for it in season two, but taste, taste, taste. But tell you the truth, I like the slow romantic buildups. But maybe on Battle of Muni, 
they will kiss. Just like Ron Stoppable and Kim Possible on the TV movie Kim Possible So the Drama. And I hope that would happen. I think around the end, before close to the, the end of the TV movie, then we cue the intro Marco spending time in the summer. I'll tell y'all, and thank you for watching Animation News Wrapped Up Extra.